Next topic is electric dipole. What is electric dipole? An electric dipole is a pair of equal and opposite charge separated by a very short distance. Suppose that this is minus q, this is plus q. Equal and opposite charge placed at a short distance that is 2L and this system is known as electric dipole. So what is an electric dipole? Write this. The electric field produced by the electric dipole is known as dipole field. Means the field created by this system is called dipole field. Now what is electric dipole moment? Important. Electric dipole moment is a vector quantity used to measure the strength of an electric dipole. Means if you want to find out the strength of electric dipole, so you have to calculate electric dipole moment. So what is the formula of electric dipole moment? Electric dipole moment is equal to the product of either of charge into the distance between them. Any charge, whether you are putting this or this, but without fan you have to put. Q into the distance between them that is 2L. So vector P is equal to Q into 2L or 2QL is electric dipole moment. The magnitude of electric dipole moment is the product of magnitude of either of charge and the distance between the two charges. The direction is from negative to positive charge. Means what is the direction of electric dipole important? It is always from negative to positive. What is the unit of electric dipole moment? It is Coulomb meter. Next, very important topic. It is a proving of this chapter. Electric field intensity due to an electric dipole. Very important. Write a question. Obtain the expression of electric field intensity due to an electric dipole. First of all, we will understand the diagram. This is an electric dipole. Minus Q plus Q. This is the midpoint. The total distance between them that is 2L. So from the midpoint, this distance is there. This distance is there. Let from the center, there is the point P at a distance X at which we have to find out the net electric field due to the electric dipole. So this diagram, you have to draw this diagram properly. Let's see the proving. At a point on the axial line, it is the electric field intensity at axial point. Resultant electric field intensity at the point P is. So net electric field we have to consider. First of all, we have to see the electric field due to the charge Q placed at B. This is EB. The electric field due to this charge outward at EA, the electric field due to the charge minus Q at A in this direction. Both electric field are opposite in direction. So net electric field EP is equal to EB minus EA. So vector EP is equal to vector EA plus vector EB. The vector EA and vector EB are collinear and opposite. So EP is equal to mod of vector EB minus mod of vector EA. EB will be bigger than EA because this charge is nearer to the point P. Now, what is the value of EA from the formula? EA is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon the distance of this charge from this point. This is X minus N. So what is this distance called? X minus, sorry, we have to discuss EA. So EA is this. So electric field at this point due to this charge will be X plus N. So EA is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon X plus L whole square. Delete this I cap which is not important for you and do not put this vector sign here. EB is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon X minus L square EB due to this charge. So this distance will be X minus L. So that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon X minus L whole square. Now the net electric field EP is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught in both of the equation is common take out. Now because EB is this, which is bigger, so EB, Q upon X minus L whole square minus Q upon X plus L whole square. On solving, we will get 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught X minus L square X plus L square. When you will take the LCM, it will become X square minus L square whole square. It is A minus B and A plus B. So it is A square minus B square. Having the square, so it will become X square minus L square whole square. Now, when you will open it, in the numerator, you will get 2 bracket Q into 2L into X. 2QL is electric dipole moment, that is P. So, in this, E is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2PX. P is electric dipole moment upon X square minus L square. So, now, if the dipole is very small, then L is very, very less than X. So, L square can be neglected. 
so x square n square that will be x की power four, x की power four and x, so it will left x cube. So final equation is approximately e p is equal to two p upon four pi epsilon naught x cube. The direction of electric field intensity at a point on the axial line due to a dipole is always along the direction of the dipole moment. Means the electric field is always the direction of is in the direction of electric dipole moment. See another proving of this chapter. That is, obtain the expression of electric field intensity at a point due to an electric dipole at equatorial position or broadside on position. So this is an electric dipole. This is the midpoint. The total distance is 2L. So from it L and L. Let from the midpoint a point Q is there at which we have to find out the electric field due to the electric dipole. This distance is Y. Positive charge will apply an electric field in this direction, and negative charge will apply an electric field in this direction. Let's see this diagram separately. The E B can be resolved in two vectors: E B sine theta and E B cos theta. Similarly, E A can be resolved in two vectors: E A sine theta and E A cos theta. E B sine theta and E A sine theta will be equal and opposite will neglect each other. So net electric field E Q will be the sum of E B cos theta and E A cos theta. Now see, resultant electric field intensity at a point Q is E Q is equal to E A plus E B. What is E A one upon four pi epsilon naught Q upon y square plus l square. Now how the y square and l square? This distance you have to calculate. This is l. This is y. So this is Pythagoras. Apply the Pythagoras, so this distance will be equal to under root y square plus l square. Because in the electric field we keep r square, so r is equal to under root y square plus l square. So root will cancel from the square. So final equation E A is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught Q upon y square plus l square. Leave this I cap. Similarly, E B is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught Q upon y square plus l square. See, E A is equal to E B. So right here. E A is equal to E B. It is very essential. Now, the vector E A sine theta and E B sine theta are opposite to each other and hence cancel out. Means these two forces will cancel out. Now, the resultant electric field due to this and this. Now, the vector E A cos theta and E B cos theta are acting along the same direction and hence add up. So, net electric field E A cos theta plus E B cos theta. That is equal to E Q is equal to because both are equal, so you may write two E A cos theta or two upon four pi epsilon naught Q upon y square plus l square. Now what is cos theta from this diagram? It is theta, so this is theta. Cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. Base is L, and hypotenuse will be under root y square plus l square. So that is y square plus l square raised to power one by two. Its power is one. Its power is one by two. Now it will become E Q is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught two Q L upon y square plus l square one plus one by two that is equal to three by two. Now E Q is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught p upon y square plus l square raised to power three by two. Then E Q is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught instead of two Q L we can put p upon y square plus l square raised to power three by two. Leave this I cap. If l is very very less than y, then we will neglect l square. So y square raised to power three by two, two and two cancel to y cube. So net electric field due to an electric dipole at broad broad side position that is E Q is equal to p upon four pi epsilon naught y cube. Now the direction of electric field intensity at a point on the equatorial line due to a dipole is parallel and opposite to the direction of dipole. Proving and very important. Two or three marks question may be asked from this. Torque on an electric dipole in a uniform electric field. First of all, we have to understand this diagram. These lines are the field lines, electric field lines. This is a dipole. Cut, making an angle theta with the electric field. This is positive charge. This is negative charge. The positive charge will experience a force in the direction of electric field. F is equal to Q E. A negative charge will experience the equal charge but in opposite direction of electric field. That is Q. So these two charge, these two charges will experience two equal and opposite forces. So they will create a torque. So we have to find out this torque. 
सो वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टॉर्क टॉर्क इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोर्स इधर ऑफ फोर्स एंड द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन सो वट इज द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन बिटवीन दीज टू फोर्स इज दिस लाइन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस लाइन दिस इज थीटा दिस इज हाइपोटेनियस दिस इज परपेंडिकुलर सो साइड थीटा इज इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर अपॉन हाइपोटेनियस सो परपेंडिकुलर इज इक्वल टू हाइपोटेनियस इन टू साइन थीटा सो द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डिस्टेंस विल बी इक्वल टू टू एल साइन थीटा ना टॉर्क टॉर्क इज इक्वल टू इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सो टॉर्क टाउ इज इक्वल टू क्यू ई क्यू ई इज द फोर्स एंड परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस दैट वॉज टू एल साइन थीटा इन द डायग्राम मैंशन टू एल साइन थीटा इज सो टाउ इज इक्वल टू क्यू ई टू एल साइन थीटा टू क्यू एल इज इक्वल टू पी ई साइन थीटा सो दिस इज द टॉर्क पी साइन थीटा लर्न दिस फॉर्मूला The vector equation that vector tau is equal to vector p into vector e. Direction of torque is perpendicular and into the plane of containing vector p and vector. What is the unit of torque that is newton meter? These are the special cases. When this torque be minimum, maximum, and zero. So case one, if theta is zero, means if theta is zero, then the torque will be zero because sine zero is equal to zero, so torque will be zero. Case two, if theta is 90, means that uh, dipole is kept perpendicular. Then the torque tau is equal to p, which is the maximum value. Case three, if theta is equal to 180, then tau will be zero. So what is the difference? In theta is equal to zero, torque is zero. In, th in theta is equal to 180, tau is zero. This is the condition of parallel, and this is called anti-parallel condition. When the dipole is kept like this, it is the parallel condition. Theta is zero. When the dipole is kept like this, means positive charge is this side and negative charge is, the, is in this 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 direction. Then it is called anti-parallel condition. So whether the dipole is kept parallel or anti-parallel, the resulting torque will be zero.